A cordial greeting, today is Friday, June 23, 2023. This is meteorologist Ruben Garcia speaking. In this video, we will be talking about the possible development of one or two cyclones in the eastern Pacific zone during the next week. It is very likely that we will see the development of the first tropical storm of the 2023 hurricane season in the eastern Pacific. I take this opportunity to mention that the forecast associated with Tropical Storm Brett and its passage through the Caribbean, as well as Tropical Storm Cindy and its future passage near Bermuda, was discussed in a video I recorded earlier in the day. If you're interested, please search for the video on my YouTube channel. During the next few days, we will be closely monitoring the area south of Mexico. It is important for residents of the states between Chiapas, Oaxaca, Guerrero, Mihuacan, and Colima to pay attention to the bulletins during the next few days. The National Hurricane Center has identified two areas of interest for cyclonic development. The first one is associated with a low-pressure system located near latitude 10 degrees north. It has a 90% chance of becoming the first cyclone of the hurricane season. If it becomes a tropical storm or hurricane, its name would be Adrian. Additionally, please note that the National Hurricane Center today marked a new area south of Mexico with a 20% chance of cyclonic development. If we have the development of two storms, the second one would be named Beatriz. Although this hurricane season has started quite slowly in the eastern Pacific region, remember that we have the El Niño phenomenon. Therefore, it has been forecasted that the eastern Pacific hurricane season will be more active than usual. Furthermore, atmospheric conditions are favorable for the generation of low pressures and instability in the eastern Pacific at least during the next week. This may be contributing to the formation of these cyclones. Additionally, sea surface temperatures remain above normal by 1 to 2 degrees Celsius, which can aid in the strengthening of these future cyclones. The important thing is to determine if they pose a risk to southern Mexico, although it is still too early to say with certainty, let's see what the forecasts from the best global models say. Here we have the American model, which for Sunday night shows the low-pressure system associated with the area with a 90% chance of development. Additionally, this model develops a new low-pressure system to the west of the Costa Rica and Nicaragua region. In the projection of the GFS model, you can see that by Tuesday, two tropical storms have formed. The first one is located south of El Salvador and Guatemala, and the other one is located south of Guerrero or Mihuacan. Notice that the GFS model maintains a trajectory parallel to the coast but far enough from Mexico to not have direct effects. This would be the best scenario in which these two disturbances are moving over the waters of the eastern Pacific. However, this is a long-term forecast and there is still a lot of uncertainty regarding the trajectory these two future cyclones might take. On the other hand, if we look at the forecast from the European model, it is quite similar to the first area we are monitoring. Notice that it possibly develops a tropical depression or tropical storm by Monday, located south of Guerrero. It also shows the second low-pressure system to the south of El Salvador. Like the American model, it maintains a trajectory for the first system parallel to the coast of Mexico, moving away without causing direct effects. Also, note that it does not develop the second low-pressure system. That is the main difference between the American model, which has a hurricane developing from the low-pressure system forming west of Central America. However, the European model does not anticipate the development of that low-pressure system. That's why, for now, the National Hurricane Center maintains a 20% chance of development in the next seven days. We will be attentive to see if these two models reach a consensus that gives us greater confidence in the forecast. Other models, such as the German model, develop both low-pressure systems. The first one follows a path towards open waters of the eastern Pacific, and the second low-pressure system possibly follows a trajectory parallel to the southern coast of Mexico, but far enough to not have significant effects. The ensemble members of the European model have a 90-95% to probability that the first area of disturbed weather will develop into a tropical depression in the next five days. There is a 30-40% to chance that the second low-pressure system will develop into a tropical depression. I understand that the current percentages provided by the National Hurricane Center are appropriate for the probabilities of seeing the development of these cyclones. The uncertainty in the trajectory is quite broad due to the long-term forecast, as we can see in the trajectories from the ensemble members of the GFS model. At least the first disturbance apparently will take a northwest trajectory, moving away from the Mexican region, and there is considerable consensus regarding that trajectory. However, for the second low-pressure system developing to the south of El Salvador and Guatemala, there are different scenarios. One scenario favors a trajectory similar to the first cyclone, but some members of the model show a path that may be a bit closer to the coast and the region of Oaxaca and Guerrero. That's why it's important to remain vigilant but not worry at the moment, as there are still many days to monitor this area. 
However, all the ensemble members of the European model agree that both disturbances would have a trajectory far from the southern coast and western Mexico, moving over the waters of the Pacific. Well, that would be all for this forecast update. I invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you're watching the video on YouTube, go to the bottom of the video, click on the red button that says subscribe or subscribe, and then click on the bell to receive notifications when I upload new content. I hope everyone has an excellent weekend. Until then, take care.